Хорошо, что они задали. Мы хотим сказать, что я не могу 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 Regularly gets some of the highest ratings in the country. He's also been playing a sitcom version of the Ukrainian president for three seasons. But in an indicator of just how much Ukrainians appreciate the absurd, or just how desperate they are for change, Zelensky might be about to do it for real. He's now the unlikely front runner in this week's presidential election. It's only a few days until the presidential elections. Yes. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why, are you Why this not? Time? This is my profession. Why not? Okay. This is my profession. Many. Do you not have a campaign to be running? Yes. You're a busy man. Yes. You'll be even busier if you become president. Who knows? I don't know. I've never been there, so maybe they have Saturday and Sundays. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands took part in the Maidan revolution in 2014. Back then, protesters had high hopes, ending endemic corruption and transforming the economy. But that was five years ago. Nothing's really improved. And Ukraine is still in a war with Russia that's seen 13,000 casualties. 38 candidates are running for president, although only three are serious contenders. Current president and former chocolate oligarch Petro Poroshenko and two-time presidential runner-up Yulia Tymoshenko are well known to voters, in part for the numerous allegations of corruption made against them both. Somehow, Zelensky is the most plausible fresh face. Mikhail took part in the protests in 2014. Back then, he voted for Poroshenko, a decision he now regrets. Was the revolution, in your opinion, a failure? Можно судить, если смотреть с разных сторон. Например, если я там звоню своей маме и там ее заработной платы хватает только заплатить коммунальные услуги. Понимание того, что людям старшего поколения стало жить намного хуже. Те же наши бабушки, они не могут свести коммуналку, заплатить за счета. Поэтому для большинства людей, с которыми мы общаемся, если Зеленский не победит, то они уедут отсюда просто и все. Потому что пять лет ждать новых выборов на то, что мы что-то повлияем, мы этого точно делать не будем. You're not worried at all that this man is a comedian? and has zero political experience. То есть нам сейчас в стране нужен человек, который может взять из того, что у нас есть полного бардака, найти то, что мы можем монетизировать и за счёт этого развить нашу экономику. И э неважно, был ли у него политический бэкграунд, э был ли у него там какой-то научный там и так далее. Нам нужен человек, который умеет из ничего создать всё. И э мне кажется, то, что у него не было политического опыта, это наоборот в этом плане плюс. Anti-government protests continue even today, as frustration with the political establishment lingers. I don't want a blood to be spilled again in uh, in the city. But at least some Ukrainians see the demonstrations as a sign of immaturity. Mikhailo Petrchuk lived abroad when the revolution happened. He plans to vote for Poroshenko again, but does say people need to manage their expectations of what he's actually able to achieve. What went so wrong? I mean, the country was in such a dire situation in 2013, and I mean, from the outside, you know, things have got more stable, at least things are not as bad as they were when Poroshenko came to power, and yet it doesn't look like he's going to win this next election. Perhaps people had a bit unrealistic expectations. Uh, they still think in this authoritarian approach of that uh, president is a king and all his decisions are being implemented immediately. That's, uh, the whole society is still in this childish state, it still has to develop and that's a problem with a lot of young democracies, that they just fall into the spiral of populism. What's at stake here if he doesn't win if one of the alternative candidates gets in? I am very concerned regarding uh, Zelensky, why I'm very worried the guy doesn't have a vision. Zelensky insists he does have a vision for Ukraine. 
but he wasn't sharing it with us. When it comes to your policies, I mean, if you are to actually become the president of Ukraine, what then? What are you actually going to do for this country? Проблем я ставил бы коррупцию, и, конечно же, я бы очень хотел остановить войну на Донбассе, однозначно, потому что мы хотим, чтобы наши люди больше не погибали. That all sounds very vague. А война на Донбассе это не общая вещь, это конкретная проблема, которая больше всего относится к нам украинцам. Надо быть украинцем, потому что погибают именно украинцы. Поэтому ты это чувствуешь очень больно. So you feel like you're fully prepared to be president of Ukraine? Да. Да. It's gonna be fun. Why not?